Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice rational equation. We have x squared plus 9x squared divided by x plus 3 quantity squared equals 16. And we're going to be solving for x values. I'm going to go ahead and present two methods here. And then at the end, I'm going to show you a graph, which is pretty interesting. So first method. Take a look at this expression. This is a sum of two squares, so it's tempting to complete the square, isn't it? So that's what we're going to do. So x squared plus, and I'm going to write this as 3x over x plus 3 quantity squared. Now you can see better that this is a difference of two squares. I mean a sum of two squares, sorry. But how do you complete the square? There is actually two ways to do it. So when you have a squared plus b squared, you can either add 2ab or you can subtract to ab. In this case, I'm going to subtract. You're going to see why in a little bit. So if you go ahead and subtract 2ab from this, and of course you have to do it on both sides, right? Now, when you do it on both sides, this is what you get. But on the left-hand side, we have a perfect square. So let's go ahead and write it as a minus b quantity squared. So kind of like this, right? So this becomes x minus 3x over x plus 3 in parentheses. That is our quantity squared. And on the right-hand side, let's go ahead and uh, simplify. Uh, we get 6x squared in the numerator, and the denominator is just x plus 3. Now. We subtract it instead of adding because inside the parentheses, we're going to get a nicer expression. When you expand it, like make a common denominator, you get x squared plus 3x minus 3x, and that's all divided by x plus 3. 3x cancels out. And why did I write a cube? I have no idea. And on the right-hand side, let's leave it at that for now. And now we're going to use substitution. Notice that the 3x cancels out, and we get... We end up with a nicer expression, so it becomes x squared over x plus 3. Quantity squared equals 16 minus, and I want to separate the 6 here so you can better see what I'm talking about. And notice that here I can use substitution. If I call this something, how about u? Let's call this u. We get the following. u squared equals 16 minus 6u. And as you know, this is a quadratic equation. Let's go ahead and add 6u to both sides, and then add 9 to both sides to complete the square. If you add 9, it, the left-hand side becomes u plus 3 quantity squared. Let me go ahead and show you right here what, what I mean. Add 9 to both sides, and you'll get the following. So this is really nice because 25 is a perfect square, which means you're going to get integer solutions, at least for u, and that is for u, so not for x necessarily u plus 3 is either 5 or u plus 3 is negative 5, which means u is 2 or negative 8. There are two solutions. You could also use the quadratic formula, no big deal. After finding the u values, we must back substitute. What is u? x squared over x plus 3. Let's go ahead and back substitute that. And by just cross multiplication, we get x squared equals 2x plus 6 or x squared minus 2x minus 6 equals 0. So that's a quadratic equation. We can solve it very easily. You can add 6 and then add 1 to complete the square. But no matter what you do, you're going to get the following solutions. That's fairly easy to solve, so allow me to write the solutions without really going into detail. I hope you don't mind. So from here, we get x equals plus minus root 7. We could also use the, um, what's that called, the Poche and Lowe's method, which I made a video on, by the way. You can take a look. Anyways. So this can also equal negative 8. This gives us something that is not real. The solutions are not going to be real because if you put everything on the same side, you're going to notice that we get a negative discriminant. But if you were to solve this, you would get the following. The solutions are going to be non-real complex. Uh, negative 4, I think that is a negative, not a positive. It's x equals negative 4 plus minus 2 root 2 multiplied by i. So we got four solutions. Obviously, that makes sense because this is a quartic equation. And so we should be getting four solutions, right? That makes sense. But two of them are not real. 
and we'll talk about that later. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method, and then I'd like to show you the graph. For my second method, I'm going to approach this from a, definitely from a different angle. Again, let's write it as a sum of two squares, just like before. And then here, we're going to use the power of substitution. You know, substitution we use a lot in the videos. How about calling this expression y? And don't ask why. So once you do that, you're going to get something that, uh, that's much simpler, x squared plus y squared equals 16. And as you know, this is the equation of a circle whose center is at the origin. But not only that, uh, this has another implication. We get the following. Of course, we should be able to take advantage of this. If you cross multiply, you get 3x equals xy plus 3y. And I kind of want to get a symmetrical expression here, or maybe at least uh, use some identities. Let's subtract 3y from both sides and then take out the 3. Now notice that the second equation gives me xy and x minus y. The first equation gives me sum of two squares. So we can kind of manipulate these algebraically. For example, I can write this as x minus y quantity squared plus 2xy, which is what x squared plus y squared is, by the way, plus uh, that is equal to 16. Now here's what I can do. I can turn this, like these two, into a nice system. How about this? Let's go ahead and call this D for difference. And let's call this P for product. And we get the following. D squared plus 2P equals 16. I'm not going to make the joke 2P or not 2P. And then we also get this is a P, so we can also say, hey, P equals 3d. So that's a nice system, again quadratic, but we can directly use substitution here. Let's go ahead and replace the p in the second equation with 3d. So d squared plus 2 times 3d, which is 6d, equals 16. And from here we get, uh, if we add 9 to both sides, again we get the similar scenario, d plus 3 quantity squared, or you can use quadratic formula, or you can put everything on the same side and factor it same thing, doesn't matter. So from here, d plus 3 is 5, which means d could be 2, or d plus 3 is negative 5, which means d equals negative 8. And of course, we can use the identity p equals 3d and just multiply the d by 3 to get the p value. p is 6 here, and p is neg negative 24 here. So that gives us the following systems, x minus y equals 2, and xy equals 6, or x minus y is negative 8, and xy is negative 24. And from here, you can manipulate in so many ways. Let me just show you one, and the other is going to be very similar. You can kind of write the x plus y squared as x squared plus y squared plus 2xy. I know that this is equal to 16, and I know that xy is 6, so this is going to be equal to 12, and the sum is going to be 28. From here, if you take the square roots, x plus y is going to be plus minus 2 root 7, along with x minus y equals 2, you're going to get the same solutions as before. x is going to be 1 plus minus root 7. If you use the other two equations, you're going to get negative 4 plus minus 2 root 2i, and that's going to be it for the solutions. Let me show you the graph real quick. The graph doesn't really give us the solution. I mean, it kind of does, but you can see the points that I marked. Those are solutions. Uh, the real ones, of course, you can't see the complex solutions or the non-real solutions here. But notice something about this graph, which is fairly interesting. It looks like a parabola, but it's not a parabola. It's not balanced. As x approaches infinity, it's kind of y approaches infinity uh, in a different way than it, when x approaches negative infinity, so on and so forth. Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.